Hey yo, what is up guys, EJ Shrek here, bringing you comments number 6, a series in which I read and respond to your guys' comments that I have gotten over the past couple of weeks. It's been a little while since I've done it, so this time I'll pick a few more. In the background is gameplay of me playing the demo of Pinball Arcade, and I have to admit this is one of the most comprehensive and fun things that you can get aside from having your own real machine. All these machines are based off the real life counterpart, maybe you can give it a try sometime on Steam. Anyway guys, let's go! Alright, first comment comes from Elias Losey who asks, Hey Rick, just to let you know I met you earlier on Cobalt. I'm going to make videos, but my problem is I have no recording system. What do you use? And thanks a lot for the comment, Elias. I'm really excited that you're going to be making your own content in your own videos. So here's looking out for that. And that's a pretty good question. I've been asked this a lot before about the recording program I use, and that's called MSI Afterburner. Now, it's not as known as something like Fraps or something, but I've been a huge fan of this program after trying it out. Multiple reasons, and probably most importantly for people, is that it doesn't cause any FPS delay like Fraps does. So you won't even notice it while you have it on recording. Secondly, it also records two different audio tracks at the same time, which is awesome for people who do editing, and you'll know why if you do that. Highly suggested in my opinion. Next comment comes from David Noxly, who asks, Hey Rick, where can I find your playlist? Which I'm guessing you mean my VGM playlist that I usually play on the videos and the stream. And my playlist currently consists of more than 3,000 songs, mostly of games that I've played and heard of. And I don't think there's any easy way of me being able to give that out. Now, if it really means anything, I'm subscribed to people on YouTube who have amazing playlists already made of very good VGNs. In fact, people like Supra Darky or Klagmar are both such people, and I've stolen their songs on numerous occasions. Maybe you guys should check them out, seriously. Next comment comes from Knife Yes one two three. Sorry if I said that wrong. Who says I hate the dim rate at the moment? I think they fixed that rate for only a week. I'm so sad. Out of that whole dimensional event and rates, I only got zero Blade Dancer fucks, which is a shame. Now I don't know if this was made clear or not, but the three times dimensional spawn rate was implied to be permanent even after the event, and that, as far as I've seen, has been the case. So the the three times dimensional spawn rate is permanent now so even past the event just letting you know that that's why i've been farming them so diligently as far as blade dancer books go i cannot get enough of them i've quite frankly i'm, I'm kind of sick of them so uh just give me guardian books please next comment comes from xxpp1459 who asks hey rick what's the max level now i love the videos keep it up thank you a lot for that and also i'd like to tell you that i started playing c9 because of you so thank you and so I gotta say, wow, that's really awesome, XXPP. Like I said before, that's probably one of the best compliments you can give me is that you started playing a game because you saw one of my videos. And really, that, that really means a lot to me. So as far as your question goes, the current level cap in C9 is 65 with endgame content in the sixth continent of Encelot. Next comment comes from, and I really don't know how to read this language, so I'll just say Divine Light, who asks, Nice explaining guide, Rick. One question, how long does it take to make this video? Lol, I'm pretty sure it's pretty long. So, I mean, every video, no matter how simple it may seem, takes some degree of editing. And so the gameplay videos generally take at most an hour or so, while since while something like the guide videos such as this one may take me a day to get everything together. That is storyboarding, shooting, editing, and the work. So yeah, I truly want to make more guide videos because they're often my most favorite to make because, you know, I like how they turn out. But often it just requires a bunch of extra effort and probably more importantly is that time. So yeah, as a general rule, it takes a long time, you're right. Alright, next comment comes from Cyregbesis, sorry if I said that wrong, who says more PvE videos please. Thanks for the comic, Sirag. You know, for a while I've been extremely interested in PvE for C9, and I have usually always been a PvPer in games, but I have to admit that there are distinct goals that I'd like to achieve in C9's PvE that creates goals to shoot for. Now that isn't always the case with other games that I've played, where you can become pretty much invincible relatively quickly. <coughs> Warframe. I mean, especially when I started gearing up my Blade Master, I am farming dim bosses for skill books for my classes, and I really want to try to craft Master Grade stuff. I think I may finally see why some people enjoy PvE in some games, and I'm totally getting into it. It also helps that the gameplay itself is action-based and not this no-brainer, you know, point-and-click stuff. 
It's, it's genuinely fun. Now, all that being said, I definitely will try and make more PvE videos that are at least as interesting for you guys as it is to me as well. Final comment comes from Dark Dame, who says, I'm your number one fan. How does that make you feel, Rick? And just, uh, I just want to say it doesn't feel good, bro. And in fact, it hurts a little. But no. <laughs> Shout out to all the people like Dane who are subbed to me on Twitch. If you aren't and want to get to know the real me behind the videos, the streams are the place to go. Again, and that's twitch.tv slash aegisrick where I pretty much can talk to you guys directly and respond to questions as soon as possible. I'm also pretty good with names. Shout out to all the regulars because man, let me tell you, we have a lot of fun over there, guys. But anyway, guys, that's all the comments I got for today. It was a little bit of an extended version today, I guess. And yeah, so make sure to make comments in the upcoming videos, guys. I'll be happy to feature you guys in the next Aegis Rick's comments. And that will be number seven. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later. Later. Should have lost one. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, I got it. Score limit. Damn it.